That's the crusty crab on Halloween. Oh, come on, you should know the drill at this point. This is like the seventh one we've done. My gosh. Hopefully this is the third good one. Or third and a half. Uh, Happy Halloween, SpongeBob! Happy Halloween, Mr. Krabs! What are you supposed to be? Is that a legitimate question? Look at me! Oh, I was just kidding, Mr. Krabs! I know you're John Cena! What the crap? John Cena's a wrestler! Yeah, I know! That's why I said you're John Cena, silly! Well, whatever. So anyway, what are you supposed to be? I'm Smeagol! What? You don't look like a seagull! Oh no, Mr. Krabs, I'm Smeagol! Uh, I don't get it. Um, I'm Gollum. Alrighty, well, nerds will be nerds and whatnot, but I didn't go to Comic Sans Con, so I have no idea what that is. And anyway, look, Patrick's here! Hey, guys! Oh, hey, Patrick. Nice costume. Not really. Like, I like it, but when I put the mask down in front of my face, I can't see anything. But it still looks cool, and I'm good at walking with it. So what are you supposed to be, a hemorrhoid? That was gonna be my second guess! What was your first guess? <laughs> no, no, Spongebob, don't be ridiculous. Children watch this channel! So anyway, Spongebob, are we gonna go trick-or-treating now? Oh yeah, let's go! Make sure it doesn't get you while you're out there. <laughs> um, what's it? <gasps> you don't know what it is? Oh, come on. I know what it is. I'm not stupid. It is used to represent an inanimate thing understood, previously mentioned, about to be mentioned, or present in the immediate Not the literal definition of the word, it, you dunce. It is a shape-shifting demon who usually takes the appearance of a clown, and he feeds off the fear of small sea creatures like you. Meh, I like my definition better. Shut up, Patrick. Okay, but why would they call up by such a common word? I just said it right there. I just said it again! And again! Okay, but there's no way that this can be a real thing, right? Actually, Spongebob, Mr. Squidward is being serious. I have actually experienced part of its wrath. I used to have a good friend. His name was Georgie. The clown ate his right arm and then pulled him into the sore, never to be seen again. After that, my friend Bill, who was Georgie's brother, and a couple other old friends have been searching, trying to find it, and take him down for good. However, to this day, they still haven't found him. So beware, he could get you at any second. Alright, cool story, bro. We're gonna go trick-or-treating now. Alright, bye, SpongeBob. Bye, Patrick. Have fun. Bye! bye. Great, Mr. Uh, I just told them the basic plot of the film. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Alrighty, well, I'm gonna get back to my office now. <gasps> oh crap, wow, okay, wow, oh man, mother freaking wow, I am so sorry. Wow, I really should have seen I this coming. So, um, you don't think it might be real, do you? Well, of course it's real. Here, I'll look it up on dictionary.com for you. No, Patrick, I'm talking about the killer clown. Oh, right, 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 right. Let's just call it the killer clown from now on because I think the other word is too common and dear Neptune, I just unintentionally used the word in this sentence. Why would they use such a common word to refer to it? Gah! But anyway, no, I don't think it's real. There's no way. There has to be some other explanation for Georgie's disappearance. Yeah, I suppose you're right. Exactly. Alrighty, well, let's go trick-or-treating now. Wow, that was fun. Yeah, look at all this candy we got. Yee! So, which house should we go to next? Uh, I don't know. There's so many nice houses to choose from. Um... Um... Let's go with that one. Wow, Patrick. That one looks really promising. Yeah, I know, right? Let's go! This is a really good idea. Happy Halloween, kids! Do you want some candy? Ah, Patrick, look! What? Oh my gosh. Well, there we go. Now I can see. Ah! Ah! It's, it's it! Wow, there's something I never thought I'd say. Patrick, we gotta run! Oh yeah, that's right. Ah! Ah! What? I'm only dressed as a clown. Wait a minute. 
Oh. Oh. Darn you, Stephen King! Oh, Mr. Krabs, Mr. Krabs, Mr. Krabs, Mr. Krabs! Well, SpongeBob, Patrick, what's wrong? We saw the clown! Whoa, wait, what did he look like? Well, he looked, he looked like he, he, he looked, he, uh, uh, he, uh, uh, he, uh, he looked like a clown. Wow, Patrick, you're so helpful and descriptive. Thanks, I know. He had a green undershirt with a purple jacket and purple pants and green hair and yellow skin. Yeah, um, nope, no, that wasn't him. It wasn't? No, SpongeBob, it wasn't. You can't be so quick to judge clowns like that. If you do, you'd be labeled a clownist. Well, at least according to Hillary Clamilton, you would be. But anyway, just remember that nothing you see on Halloween is real. It's all pretend. You don't have to be scared of anything. Oh, Mr. Squidward, don't scare me like that! What? I didn't even do anything. Yeah, I know. Your face is just naturally horrifying. Hey! I mean, don't get me wrong, I think all of Neptune's creation is beautiful. But I don't know what he was thinking with you! No one in this town would recognize natural beauty if it hit him in the face. <laughs> Hey, Mr. Squidward, have you ever considered plastic surgery? Shut up, Mr. Krabs. This is an outro screen. No, it's not very professional, but it gets the job done. Thank you for watching, and have a nice day.